Um, so funny story, I hated the whole concept of TikTok when it started. Um, a couple friends told me about the app and I went through the app and I just didn't like it. Um, they told me to post videos and I just didn't want to do it. it I downloaded it around August of 2019 and it took me until when quarantine started around March to actually start posting. Um, and from there on, I just start posting every single day. So here we are. Basically, uh, always consider myself someone who's very happy and just trying to like make jokes and make everyone laugh and smile so that's what i try to base my content up i just try to like create comedy and create things that are going to make people smile giggle all that so yeah that's that's my main focus sometimes i post dramatic videos like acting sometimes i post very serious videos about history but i mainly focus on comedy Not gonna lie, in the beginning it was really, really frustrating. Um, I, there was a lot of times where I just wanted to give up. But to be honest, my advice for people who are starting out on the platform or on YouTube or something else, never give up. It's I know that's what everyone says, just never give up, but I truly mean it. At some point, something's gonna go viral. It's one of your videos or one of your you know content's gonna go viral. Just keep posting what you love, what you're passionate about, and just don't focus on the numbers. Don't focus on, you know, the amount of likes you receive. Just focus on what you love and what you're posting. You gotta keep in mind, I was 13 years old when, <laughs> when I started doing vines, so my content was not that good. Uh, but for a 13 year old, I gained 400 followers. So that was huge for me. Um, but looking back now, I can see how comedy has always been the center of my content. Cause I try to like post funny videos back then. And that's my main focus right now. So I don't know. I feel like that was the start of my whole passion for editing and creating content. It was a little difficult in the beginning, not gonna lie, but I've lived in the US for around three years already because of college. So it's helped me a lot with, you know, the pronunciation and actually speaking English fluently. So that helped a lot. And I don't know, I've always like, like posting stuff in English, but that doesn't, that doesn't like stop me from posting in Spanish. It all depends, my content is 50-50. It, sometimes it's English, sometimes it's Spanish, but because my main following is Hispanic people, I try to post, you know, from both languages. What's important if you want to like start creating content is to not focus on numbers and the amount of likes you received and the amount of comments you had. I mean, it's important and it's, it's really fun to look at, but it shouldn't be your main focus. When you're creating content, you need to focus on what you love and what you're passionate about, and just continue to post uh, weekly or daily or whatever you feel comfortable with. But it really shouldn't be the focal point of your whole platform, you know, reaching 100, reaching a million followers. It's not about that. It's about what you love. Sometimes it's a little challenging to be posting, you know, daily and weekly and whatever. But if you're truly passionate of what you're posting and what your content looks like, it's not that difficult if you think about it. Um, ideas are going to be coming out of nowhere. Um, so you just write it down wherever you're at. And whenever you have the chance to record it, just focus on it and look at your, um, your notebook. Just try to create whatever you had in your notebook. Yeah. My advice 
advice for anyone who receives negative comments or who's about to receive negative comments from your content, use that as your fuel to continue posting. You're gonna receive negative comments. The, if you continue to grow, that you're gonna receive more negative comments, you're gonna receive more hate, more unfollows. If you stick to what you believe in and if you stick to what you're passionate about, it doesn't matter. That's what I usually do. I just take it as a joke. I take it as, you know, something to fuel me to continue posting. Cause at the end of the day, you're growing, your platform's growing, and they're taking from their time to, you know, comment on your videos and they're focusing on your platform, your content. So don't don't let that affect you at all. I'm, I, I could say that one of my favorites has to be one of my first videos that actually went viral when I hit 10K followers. That was my big celebration TikTok. Um, it's when, if we ever had a Hispanic president in the United States, it was, it was comedy. It was a stand-up comedian who used the audio and I used it from TikTok and it was really funny to like use and interact with it. It was a new style of content I was posting and people really seemed to like it. It was one of my most liked videos for now. It's over 100K likes. So it's one of my, my favorite ones. I don't know. <laughs> people are gonna make fun of you um, for posting on TikTok. Uh, same thing if you start posting on YouTube, if you start posting on Instagram, like funny sketches, you're always gonna receive hate, you're always gonna, people are always gonna like make fun of you. But the most important thing about this is that you need to focus on who you truly are, um, on what you love to create, and just don't listen to people. People are always gonna show you hate until you actually make it. So. That's my advice to everyone who's trying to like, you know, start on TikTok or on social media. Don't focus on what anybody has to say. Focus on yourself because you're the one who actually knows who you truly are and you're the one who actually knows your potential.